Okay, we're talking about the Lomi. Is it a real composter and can you use it to prepare food waste for your warm bin? We're gonna cover that on today's video. My name is Steve Churchill. This is the Urban Warm Company. I get lots of questions about composters like the Lomi. For those of you that don't know, the Lomi is an electric countertop device that takes in your food waste and overnight, or over the course of a few hours, turns it into a dry brown organic matter that the folks at Lomi say you can either throw away, put into an organics recycling bin, or use directly in your garden. Another potential use is to put it directly into your warm bin. And since I'm a warm guy, I get asked this question a lot and we'll get to that in a minute. So Lomi calls itself the Lomi Home Composter. And the most recent version is called the Lomi Bloom. So it sits on your countertop and it's connected to an electrical source. It costs you about $500, but you can get $100 off if you sign up for their $20 a month subscription service to get a few extra bennies like filters to reduce odor and pods that I guess increase the nutrient output of the Lomi end product. You put in the day's food scraps, which can include a small amount of meat without the bones, but pretty much everything else that you would put into a compost bin. Over the course of a few hours, the Lomi grinds, heats, and dehydrates the food waste into a brown substance. But what is that stuff? I mean, a Lomi composter makes compost, right? Not quite. I spent a lot of time on Lomi's website last night and I noticed something very interesting. The word compost is plastered all over the website and especially in their blog posts. They've done a heck of a job associating the word compost with their brand. And as a fellow marketer, I say job well done. But I'm a composter and a vermicomposter too, so I'm also gonna give the website the side eye a little bit. Even though it calls itself a composter, Lomi never quite directly calls its end product compost. They really dance around the topic, which is wise. They call it lots of things like dirt, pre-compost, or a trademark term called Lomi Earth. Now I get why the folks at Lomi call their product a composter. I think they have as much right to call it a composter as the people who make stainless steel buckets that sell on Amazon have to call their product a compost bin. But they're probably pretty wise to stay away from the word compost when it comes to what the Lomi produces. That would be a violation of truth and labeling laws. Why? The US government doesn't define compost as far as I know, but the closest thing we can get to a definition of the word comes from the US Compost Council, which defines compost as a product manufactured through the controlled, aerobic, biological decomposition of biodegradable materials. But Lomi is a Canadian company, and the Canadian government does define compost as a solid, mature product resulting from composting, a managed bio-oxidation process that includes a thermophilic phase, of a solid heterogeneous organic substrate. Whew, that's a mouthful. What's happening in the Lomi is not biological, it's physical. And that puts it in conflict with the US Compost Council's definition of compost. And after a few hours, there's no way to call the Lomi output mature, which definitely puts it at odds with the Canadian government. So what the Lomi does is grind and dehydrate food waste. And by dewatering the food waste, the Lomi actually stops the microbiology in its tracks. Microbes like bacteria and fungi must have water to survive and continue the decomposition process. Think of something like beef jerky. One of the reasons it keeps a lot longer than meat is that it has very little water in it to feed the microbes that would otherwise be decomposing the meat. Okay, real quick, if you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that little notification bell that lets you know every time we release a new video. All right, now back to the Lomi. So the website Reddit is an absolute hive of information. And when I wanted to get feedback on the Lomi that didn't come from Lomi itself, I went there to see what people said. And the reviews from the folks who own Lomi's were actually fairly positive, but nobody said their stuff was compost. One response in particular on Reddit caught my eye and it kind of confirmed my suspicions about Lomi Earth. Again, that's the stuff that comes out of the Lomi after you're done using it. This person said they used the output from Lomi on their houseplants and the soil began molding within days. So once rehydrated and exposed to open air, the loamy earth behaved less like a stable compost and more like regular old food waste. Now I'm actually a little less skeptical than most people when it comes to products like this. I think using a small amount of electricity to grind and dehydrate food waste in your home or apartment and using the stuff on indoor and outdoor soils is preferable to sending food waste directly to the landfill where it's gonna rot and release methane. And to be honest, some folks don't wanna pay for weekly subscriptions for food waste pickup and they can't do regular composting or warm composting in their apartments. So I get the appeal of the Lomi. I think it does have some benefit even if it's not really a composter. 
But the question a lot of you have is, can I use that stuff that comes out of the loamy in my worm farm? And that answer is yes. By grinding the food waste, you're accomplishing the same thing as chopping up your food waste, which multiplies the available surface area that then accelerates the decomposition process once you reintroduce water. So I definitely give you the green light to use the loamy to prep your food waste for your worm farm with the following advice. Number one, your loamy earth output is brown colored, but you should expect it to behave like a nitrogen rich green. After all, it's food waste in a suspended state of decomposition because it's had its water removed. Two, I would use equal parts of loamy earth and carbon rich bedding like shredded paper, cardboard, or cocoa core. And this is by volume. Now, for those of you that have been following me for a bit, I normally recommend two parts bedding to one part food waste. But because that food waste has so much more mass due to the water content, you normally need lots of bedding to sop up that moisture once the food waste breaks down. So I think you can get away with less bedding here. But three, about that moisture. You're gonna need to add water to your bedding and the loamy dirt to resume the decomposition, help the bacteria repopulate, and to make your mixture attractive to worms. Guys, I've got an incredible resource for you to download right now. It's the PDF guide to our ultimate guide to vermicomposting, where we cover anything from the basics of vermicomposting, how to start and maintain a worm bin, and the financial opportunities in vermicomposting and more. Just click this little link above my left shoulder and you can sign up to get that guide immediately. All right, look, the folks at Lomi have done an awesome job marketing their product, and their lawyers have done a great job of wordsmithing their website copy to call the Lomi Earth everything except compost. And I do think Lomi is preferable to not handling your food waste at all. And if you're coupling a Lomi with your home worm farm like the Urban Worm Bag, it's honestly an okay way to rapidly turn your food waste into worm castings. All right, that's it. We'll see you on the next video.